there is definitely an art scene in Staten Island. Uh, don't be fooled by mainstream media. Staten Island has little pockets of art, creative people, new businesses. <laughs> say, your, say your name and title and I'll do mine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bennett, the Executive Director at Staten Island Arts. And I'm Jenna Mozo, Deputy Director. And today we're going to be taking you on a tour of some of our favorite locations and businesses on the North Shore of Staten Island. Highlighting the connection between art, commerce, and culture. Here we are at Everything Goes Book Cafe, where literally everything goes. Uh, you can find music, you can find art, you can find food, you can find it all here at Everything Goes. This place is like the closest, like the closest to New Orleans in New York. They've made their own library here, people donate books, and they're educating the community around them, which is very important. And now I'm in my living room here at ETG. I think I'm gonna buy this one. I think I found a winner. Jane Pitney. It says, kids, you need an adult if you want to see how this works. <laughs> So welcome to Staten Island Makerspace. This is a place that's at the intersection of old traditions and new traditions and new artistic practices. And it's a place where everybody can find everyone else in the Staten Island art community. Emily, can you tell us a little bit about the Makerspace members who are operating their own small businesses out of Makerspace? Michael Ardito, he runs a company called Hometown Type and he restores and resells typewriters. So it's kind of magical in a way. I've noticed that his space has grown. Yes. Um, and I hope that that's because his business is growing. Yeah, absolutely. So he is actually one of the last typewriter repair shops in New York. Wow. He's right here in Makerspace. <laughs> Here we are, Flagship Brewery, the renaissance of brew culture on Staten Island. The way this place looks now has a lot to do with how the community wanted it to be. A lot of the stuff you see like this flag is, those are by people that just hang out here. They just did that one day, but you know? There's an art seat here. He just said, it. we're here, we're all here. <laughs> and I think that's what makes a community or a neighborhood attractive to just be around or live or open a business. That's what might get people to this neighborhood for the first time. That's what people that frequent this neighborhood, I think, love about it. And we just want to be somewhere in there. Hi, Hi Julia. Hi, how are you? Oh, Hi. Julia. Hello. Hi. Oh my God, Julia looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It goes all the way to the back. So if you, yeah, so. You did such a beautiful job setting this up. Are I spelling Jasmine? Yeah, Jasmine. Okay. That was a great guess. Everyone okay. just wonders like, oh, what's that smell when we come in? And I'm like, Jasmine, but you're the first person to figure it out when it was. <laughs> so when people drive down Bay Street and they come into the Bay Street corridor, if they're coming from the Verrazano Bridge, one of the first things that they see as they enter the Bay Street corridor is the mural of elephants, the beautiful <laughs> golden doors yeah. that are the doors of your family's restaurant, La Coana. You know, a lot of people doesn't really come down to Bay Street as often, but once we did the murals and the golden door, people started to notice like, oh, I should go in there. Well, and once people pass by it, they will never forget it. And they'll never forget they, they try to come back. The family that owns La Caruana was looking for a way to share its cultural heritage with the rest of the world. And so the young daughter of the restaurant owner founded the museum, which you can now visit. So here we are at Hypnotronic Comics, uh, steps away from the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. And a large part of their business is supporting local makers and creators that work here on Staten Island. This place is a mecca for anybody creative in the area. We're promoting them, and then they tell everybody our stuff is available at Hypnotronic Comics. Right. So it, it's a cross-promotional deal, it's great. Right, that's a local artist up there on your wall? Yes, Santo, he's our local artist. Uh, we've sold a few of his pieces before. This is from an artist, Melissa Preeb. She uh, makes jewelry with comic books and these are some of the things that she brings in. She also makes frames, and uh, we sold out of those because they're awesome, so I got to get some more of those in. I think what we've done is we have basically have this great support system that crosses not only through art and culture, but through commerce as well. And we do that by supporting our local, independently owned businesses, which are often owned by artists. He's got free posters for us. Graduated from Electronic Comics. Thanks. <laughs> 